Hi, this is Dawn of StampTillDawn.com and I'm back to share another fun video featuring our Cricut Artiste cartridge. So this is the book here and we're going to be making what we're calling swing cards. It's on the S key and you can see that there are five different choices of cards that you can do and there's also an envelope. Unfortunately the camera is not going to pick up what some of the different shapes are but I can show you a few of them. This one right here is uh, the shape that's on accent two and the shift. And let me go ahead and show you quite a few other ones. This one is using the same paper pack actually. This is the Avonlea paper pack. And this is what I mean by the swing card. Kind of open it up. And this shape is this top one on accent one. So it's without the shift. And then this is a smaller version of that same shape. It's like with the pear and partridge pack. This is a Christmas version. And my favorites. I've had so much fun with these. These are my Halloween cards that we're going to be doing in my workshop next week. And this one it has like a pokey circle. And that is down here right next to the envelope. So that's using the card feature. This circle this one that's easier to see is just the plain circle. And that one is accent three with the shift. And this one's also the plain circle, but we layered it with one of the little pokey circles on here. So that, but the actual card, it's a plain circle there. And that one, like I said, is the accent three with the shift. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the cards. So if you want to make this card, you use your Artiste Cricut cartridge, and it's the S key, and as I pointed out, you're going to do shift or not shift depending on which um, card you want. If it's on the right-hand side, then that's the, with the shift. So this one's accent one, and you would just do accent one, no shift for this side, and you would push the shift key for this side. So let me show you how these cards go together. I pre-cut this on the Cricut and you can get, this is the five and a half inch size. So if you lay it down here, you can see it's five and a half. So this is like a typical standard card size. And the way you're going to fold it depends on which paper you want to show. If you want this paper to show on the outside, it's going to seem counterintuitive, but you're going to fold it with that paper on the inside. So let's fold it over and it has the Cricut cut little score marks for you so it goes together real easy. And then you're going to fold it back on itself. So you just fold this back. Again there are score marks there for you. And then there's your basic card. So if I had folded it the other way then it would look like, so this, that's what that one's going to look like. And let me find, this is what it would look like if I had folded the paper opposite. Okay. Now the fun thing is these shapes, close to my heart really thought about this when they made the cartridge. This is, like I said, cut on the Artiste cartridge. But this shape right here is from Art Philosophy. So if you have that cartridge, you can also cut the paper to match it. And then they've designed stamp sets to go with it. So this stamp set, it's called Perfect Fit Frames, and it's in the what they call the flare section. And so it comes with four of these frames, and right on the carrier sheet, it's upside down, on the carrier sheet it tells you that these images are cut with the Art Philosophy cartridge. I'm trying to get that so it's re readable. It tells you exactly what size to cut them. This one's two and three quarter inches. The square that we're going to be using today is a two and a half inch square. And you can see that it fits perfectly. So I cut the two and a half inch square with the Art Philosophy cartridge. And then that fits right in here. Fits it perfect. So these stamp, this stamp set was designed to kind of go with the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to stamp it. I already put the stamp on the block. You can tell it's well used. It's got a little color to it. And this is our chocolate stamp pad. When I do these solid stamps, I kind of like to do like a little twisting motion to really get good ink on them and then tap it off. And 
nice thing about the clear stamps is you can tell when you've got enough ink on there. Then when you use a block that's a little bit bigger than the stamp that you want, it's real easy to see through it so you can line it up. And you just want to try and get it. I can't lean over it. If I lean over it, I'm going to have my head in the video. So we're going to see how I can do from here. And then you want to push it down really good. I like to wait a second, really give that ink a chance to absorb. And then a lot of times the paper will actually stick to it. So it's kind of nice to flip it over and rub it out. And you've got your image there. I re-inked my pad, so it's a little splotchy right now. It'll take a little while. And then from the other stamp set I used is the Casual Expression stamp set. I've been using this one a lot. In fact, I think it's already in another video I've done. I took this Thinking of You stamp right here. And we'll stamp that right in the center of this. There we go. So now can just layer that right on there. I lost my glue stick. <laughs> I had a Tombow tape runner here, but I think I moved it and I don't know what I did with it. So we're just going to wing it. Um, so you go ahead and ad adhere it here. Then what I did was I cut another of the same image and then one that's a half inch bigger. So we have like this. So you glue these two together and then to get them to line up put a little Tombow tape runner or something on the back here and then kind of hold it and move this out of the way for now. You hold it here and then just set the whole thing down and then it will all be lined up. And Let me show you on one of the cards that's done. So I glued this image on then behind it I have this and that gives you some place to write but then it's still hidden when the card's there. Otherwise, if you write out here, you'll see it out in that area. And then to add the bow, the thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you put the bow, put your glue dot on your bow, and you just want to make sure that you have the, it on this side of the paper. If my glue dot extended past, then my card wouldn't open. So you'll just put a little bit of glue dot right there, put it on your card, and you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed these tips using the S key on the Artiste cartridge. If you want more ideas and inspiration, be sure to visit my blog at stamptilldawn.com. I love comments and I love likes, so if you'll take a moment and like this video, that would make my day. 